Hello, welcome to A is for Ant, part three. All right, we're going to add shadows. So, when sunshine comes down from the sky, it lands on our ant. Whoosh. And then his little armpit blocks the sun. So whatever's under the armpit makes a little shadow. So under each of the armpits, I'm just going to put a little shadow thing. Same thing happens here. We've got a little shadow from his feeler. You know, if you want that part. You can have that part. It's not a big deal. However, what is kind of fun is underneath his body, we're going to put a shadow for where his body is on the ground. And I am making kind of little hot dog things. When your shadow hits the ground, it gets flattened out. So for fat circles, we do little hot dogs on the ground. So <laughs> it looks really, that's a booty came out looking really huge. It's got to have, it's like doing major push ups uh, 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 to lift that thing up off the ground. So underneath the booty, there's the shadow on the ground. There's my hot dog. Here's the hot dog. And now I'm going to go around these feet and help them show up. It's another fun thing shadows can do. So I'm careful to color around the feet. Sometimes you can even leave a little bit of white paper in there. If you want to give a little highlight around them. Highlights are kind of fun. So I am pressing harder with my pencil this time. Pressing harder. And here's the head. And I know I had like the neck and this little extra neck here. It, it, nobody cares if that shows up. It's just a shadow. Don't freak out about it too much. Okie dokie. I know some of you guys are very, very perfect. And you like things to look exactly right. Well, go go outside on a sunny day. Not today. It's raining where I am today. Uh, might be raining where you are if you're watching this today. Uh, I don't think there's going to be an ant. But on a sunny day, go outside and stare at the ants if you really want to worry about their shadows. Okay, so I have a shadow. I did mine uh, kind of diagonally just because diagonal is a little more interesting. Slanted, if you like that word better. Straight across your paper, not always as interesting. You know, I started a little guy up here on the first set and I wrote, nice line basics. And I did nice circles with straight lines. And it's just not as interesting in art. So if you can make things slanted, cool. And then you can kind of go around there. And I'm wanting it to be a sidewalk. And sidewalks are bumpy and sloppy. So I'm just not being real worried about this. You can smear that around with your fingers too if you like it. It's fun to smear things. So, Oh my goodness! I did not make the other three legs on the other side. Oh no! Mervyn the ant has been through a terrible car accident and lost half of his legs. That's so sad. Oh dear. Oh dear. <sighs> okay. See, everybody makes mistakes. Uh, you probably noticed that a long time ago, and you probably already put them in. When I see you guys in class, as soon as I mess something up on the chalkboard, you're like, yeah, 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 yeah. What about the other legs, huh? So, um, yeah, other legs. Okay, uh, you will not see the little hairy armpits on the other side of the bug, but you will see his little ankles sticking out. So, oh, from this one, 
there's one, there's one, and there's one. And then I put a little foot on each of them there. So now he has a foot. And yeah, I can make this a little bit bigger. So now he's walking around. And then as I'm coloring in my sidewalk, I can kind of color in around there. So, and if he's going that way, I can make my sidewalk kind of stop. There's a section in the sidewalk, why not? So, my sidewalk can stop there. Maybe there's some mud and grass. Oh, so far, I can't see what I'm doing. There. Oh, wait. of grass. Maybe there's some grass behind Mervyn. Hello, Mervyn. You are a wonderful friend. There. Call it grass. I don't know. It looks a little weird. This might not be my best grass ever. Um, it was an attempt at grass. I feel like if this was the sidewalk, it would show up a little bit right under where his tummy is tucked in there. So I guess I should connect those parts. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. One last fun little thing that I also noticed I did not do. The teeth of Mervyn. Um, if his legs cast shadows in the armpits when the sun is up, then probably his mouth will do that. So I'm kind of coloring in just like a triangle at the top of each tooth. So this makes it look like they're tucked under there a little bit. So I could do that on the eyeballs too, I suppose. Color in this a little bit where the eyeball pops up. I don't know. I don't know if I like that so much. I didn't erase that. I don't think I like that. If you have stuff you don't like, you can erase yours too. Go right ahead. So, ta da! That was our lesson on A is for A. See y'all next time. Oh, I miss you guys.